Uh, with the short courses, we're targeting two groups, the academic group and the professional group, my academics, PhD students, postdoctoral students who are interested in, in the topic uh, of social protection in this case, and with professionals, uh, civil servants, maybe consultants working uh, with different NGOs that are interested in the topic. The design of the course, or the, the way we run the course, uh, is based on a mix of theoretical and uh, practical science. So the students or the course participants, they have to learn the theoretical aspects of what we're talking about and then they have to apply it practically through different methods. Um, and they are given uh, a training in the methods but also the different techniques that they can use. So for example, um, if we are trying to use different economic uh, methodologies for measuring poverty. We also um, get trained on uh, the different software that we can use. In this case, we can use Stata software in order for us to do different computations. What is special about the way the courses are designed is that they bring in a blend of um, political economy, again, academic theory, and the practicality and also a bit of a historical context so uh, whether we are talking about developing or developed countries whether we're talking about the developed welfare state or we are talking about emerging markets we are always trying to put it into a historical context as well as a political economy context and this is very important because unless you explain it to the students and unless they get um, a good understanding that this is really necessary, uh, then policy doesn't really work. Uh, policy does not sort of exist in a vacuum, in and out of itself. It's, uh, policy has to be interlinked with a lot of contextualizations. And um, we, we need to make it clear that in order for you to uh, do correct policy, or at least in order for you to start thinking about policy, you cannot take it isolated from you know, what the historical context tells you and also what is currently going on with the, politi with the political economy. What is interesting also about the method of the PBL is that the lecturer or the tutor, uh, the teacher, is taking more of a facilitator role. So the, the learning is the responsibility of the students or the participants in the PBL. So this increases responsibility and also makes, makes uh, the students take ownership on how they need to present the material, how they need to explain the material and the, the discussions that goes in. And, um, Usually when the students feel that they are in charge of running the, 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 the session, it, it, it becomes a lot of times more creative and you kind of get out of this, um, uh, this method of uh, lecturing or the, you know, there's one person in the room who knows more and they are explaining to everybody else, but rather it becomes sort of a communal learning environment. And I, I find it very interesting, especially for uh, short course students who come in and have not been very used to this method. They find it very enriching and um, it is also very nice for the students themselves because most of the time the, the short course participants, they, are, um, they have m slightly more experience than the students, so it brings in a very interesting uh, environment of, um, of sharing experiences as well as uh, uh, you know, maybe, maybe even more idealist theories of how things should be and then the, how things are really on the ground.